for green stuff, it's a good idea to have water. Wow! Hi YouTube and welcome back to Duffworks Animation. It's finally time for an armature tutorial. That's right, today we're gonna make a cheap aluminum wire armature. What you will need, you will need some aluminum wire, green stuff, the standard milliput will not work for this. It's not strong enough for this. Green stuff is great. I know green stuff sounds weird. It's a modeling putty. It's it's an epoxy just like a milliput where you mix two parts and then it will heal and it will be almost like plastic. This is gonna be sort of the bones in our armature. For those of you who don't know, an armature is a sort of a skeleton to stabilize your puppet so that you can push your puppet somehow and the arm will not just fall down again. That's what an armature is for. And the armature is also where you attach your rig or whatever you're using to support your puppet so that it doesn't fall over. Especially when your puppet is walking on one leg. You can't expect him to stand there on his own. That's why you're using a rig or somehow attach your puppet to the to the base of your set. I'm using a rig. I recommend that you have the rig nearby because when you make the armature, the rig has to somehow fit inside your armature. If you don't have a rig, you can actually make one the same way as we are making this armature. It's not the most durable rig. This is definitely better, but it works for a lot of simple things. You might have to make more than one to really support your puppet, but this is basically enough to do it. In the next video, I will uh, move on to adding some plasticine to the armature. I'm using, as I've said before, I use uh, clay right on top of an armature. I don't first make an armature, then add the clay to make a mold for silicon, so you can make a silicon puppet. I mean, if you're working in a, a large scale, that's a good idea because clay is very heavy. I'm just attaching the clay right onto the armature. We'll get back to that in the next video. Tools. We need a clipper. Yes. Sculpting tools like these can be uh, useful when you're working with green stuff. Also, for green stuff, it's a good idea to have water. Wow. Hello there. So I <laughs> I need to make a, a rig for my, my webcam, apparently. Uh, where was I? Clipper, tools, green stuff, aluminum wire, and rig. Oh, and of course, coffee. Don't forget the coffee, girl. Oh, you also want to use your uh, very bright, uh, your uh, drawing of your character. If you didn't see part one in this series uh, where I talk about character design, I will leave a link right there. You don't have to make a chicken, of course. If you do, I would love to see it. And also, I'm gonna put these on the screen because this is not good. But this is uh, basically the same drawing but with the armature skeleton showing. Also, I, I wanna show you something else. This is what some of my corona time went with. Lego! So what is this? It's actually for the camera to, to film down so that you can see what's going on. I made my drawing. Uh, this was just to have a better view of the size of the beak. And as you can see over here, we have the whole puppet with an actual skeleton. This was made before the first puppet I uh, did, the one that you've been following until now. Uh, well, not actually the first one. There was one uh, for the, the snowball video I did. Uh, the first video on this channel, I think, was a snowball test armature video. And that was my very first armature. But, that, but I have done a remake since then that I used for all the sketches. And this is... This is the drawing I made in between those two armatures. 
I'm gonna use this one again, but just notice one thing. If you have a large puppet, it's perfectly fine to have fingers, but for this size, I say just don't even bother. If you had some very long fingers, or I mean, if your puppet had, had long fingers, then you would probably need to wire them. My point is, in this size, you don't need these wires. So I'm not gonna make these, I'm not gonna make these, and I'm not even gonna make this one for the comb. If I take my old chicken here, as you can see, the aluminum wire, it stops right there. Let me remove some of this clay to show you how he looks underneath. I had fingers at first, but the wire broke in no time, so that's why I decided not to. As you can see, the green stuff acts like bones, basically. So you can't bend the wire where there's green stuff. So this means that when you bend the chicken's arm, you know that it will always bend right at the elbow. If you just have a wire without any bones, you will get a very weird looking snake-like, worm-like arm for your puppet. Aluminum wire is amazing because it can be bent multiple times, actually quite a few times without breaking. And we like that. This is it. I just give it a bit more than necessary, just to be sure. So let's see, this is the legs, right? Cut those. I'm just gonna twist this one just a little bit. That is for the hand. And then we can cut the other end and twist this one as well. Once you've done that, you have the arms and the legs. If you want it to be shorter, you can always twist these a bit more, or you can cut, cut it and twist it again. But I think this is pretty good. If it's a bit too long, then I actually recommend you twist it around the one you have in the middle. I'm gonna take one that's way too big. And now you can twist this one. Remember, you won't see any of this, so it doesn't have to be pretty. Because we made the, the legs a bit, a bit too long, we actually have room to, to twist the legs as well and just make some kind of connection. Ah. Sorry if I'm disappearing out from the screen once in a while. Okay, that's it. And then, like I said, you can twist this one around. Once you've done that, you make sure that it's in the right place and you can twist this one as well. So always make the, the aluminum wires a bit longer than you need them because then you can stabilize everything this way. As you can see, it's not pretty, but it doesn't need to be. This is, you won't see any of this. We need to make this hole at some point and it's a bit more tricky. You don't need the tail. I think that there are at least five or six armatures left in one of these. It's not expensive at all. Green stuff is way more expensive, but you don't use a lot of it. So once you've bought, I, I don't, I think it's been, it's been years since I bought this one and there are so much in a pack like this. So this armature probably cost me around two dollars oh. so it's it it is a very 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 cheap now i'm going to take the aluminum wire just a little bit what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the wire inside the this alligator clip i think that's what it's called and then i'm twisting it around relatively tight not so tight that you can't open it just a little bit because otherwise you won't be able to to remove it it needs to be just 
fitting like this, okay? We can start adding the green stuff. Why is it called green stuff when one part is blue and the other part is yellow? Well, you probably guessed it. <laughs> it's a two-part epoxy and you mix these, they will stay fresh for a very long time uh, until they get mixed. And let me just say right away, some of you have pointed out this, that I don't use, I'm not using gloves uh, when I'm handling epoxy, but I don't do it that often. If you do this every day, use gloves because it's uh, pretty toxic, but uh, I don't like gloves when I have to sculpt something. Because this is what is going to hold the aluminum wire together. And once this one is mixed, I'm gonna try to add the, this one. I'm gonna take this one and bend it down like that. You can just push it in like this. just so it stays. But don't push it all the way because you need room for the for the clip. Then I want it to be hollow inside, of course, but I also want the green stuff to hold it in place. And then this is the plastic from my aluminum wire. I'm just grabbing a piece of that, putting it inside my alligator clip and then bending it on the sides like this. I don't know if this is too much, it might actually be better. Then I'm taking my armature and I'm just pushing, placing it right there. Because then I know that there's room for the alligator clip, but the plastic can just be taken out, even if the, if the green stuff it cures fine. I mean, it doesn't look that fine. It looks pretty messy. And you can always put some water on your finger if you find that it's too sticky and won't let go of your of your hands. I'm gonna attach his shoulders as well. Just make sure that you really push it together in between all the wires and that the arms go out to the side while it's uh, drying. Let's see. I'm gonna put milliput around this one in the end. And then we are just gonna mark the same spot so we know that this is where the beak. I don't I don't wanna I don't really wanna make this. I don't find it that necessary. Again, make things easier for yourself. Now it's time for the bones. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna make the hand first. I take green stuff around this one and make a flat, sort of flat circle like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other hand. Even though it's annoying to have to mix putty again and again, it's so frustrating to have a lot of green stuff leftovers that you haven't used because once it's mixed, it will cure. So think about that. Mix a little bit at a time and then mix some more. And yes, it takes a while, but you save some money in the end. I really hope that you are able to follow this. Now I'm probably not gonna be able to finish the whole armature right away. I'm probably gonna add a few more things once it's, it's cured, but See, that's the annoying part. One, one of the th it, it doesn't take a long time to make an armature, but it takes so much waiting because it has to dry. So now I have mixed a bit more and I can add the bones for his arm. Like I've said, if you work in a large scale, you might want to uh, make it a bit stronger by twisting two wires together. But now we're just adding these bones. This is 
it's so messy. So that. there we go. Now I'm gonna twist his feet a little bit. This is just to make the, the green stuff stick better. So if there's a sort of a, a hook, then you can imagine that it's more difficult to pull pull out these wires from the green stuff. And now we just need the legs. And then of course, finally we need to add a bit more milliput and for now I think it looks it looks pretty good. I mean it, it actually looks terrible, but it looks good in terms of it, it looks it looks right, let's say it like that. It doesn't look good, but it looks right. I'm just gonna add a little bit here to make sure that it stays so that one arm will not be suddenly be shorter than the other. Because that's what happens when you twist it around and bend it and so on. So everywhere you want your puppet to bend, to be able to bend, you need to leave the wire without any green stuff covering it. It will help the wire bend in the right, in the right place. Now my, my chicken has some pretty skinny legs, so I want to make sure that these are not too thick. Nope, it's not annoying with that plastic. It's not that pretty, but it works. Um, I'm gonna stabilize it a bit more once it's uh, it has dried a little bit with some millipad. Just wanna mix them together like with the green stuff, and I'm making a bit more now. As you can see, the milliput sticks a bit to my fingers um, more than the green stuff does. But you don't have to use green stuff and you don't have to use milliput, but you have to use something similar. There are probably other epoxies and putties out there. I mean, if you have one that you like to use, feel free to leave it in the comments, both for other people to to try out different materials, but also because I would like to know what what exists out there. So one of you talked about Magic Sculpt, I think was the name. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm definitely going to, because the price looked pretty good compared to Milliput. Having said that, Milliput is not really that expensive. You can't make the same fine details in Milliput that you can from green stuff. I'm mainly using green stuff because I um, I was into the whole uh, like Warhammer hobby, just not with the Warhammer, but with the, the Lord of the Rings version, as you may know if you've seen my backend model video where I use a lot of milliput and green stuff. Look at this. Oh, this it's so messy, it's so difficult for me to to judge if you can even see what I what I'm doing. Um, more for the neck. This is just to save clay. Over time you will find your own way to do this. It's starting to look pretty good now. Or <laughs> like I said before, it's not looking good. It looks it looks right. It doesn't look good. It looks terrible. <laughs> now I'm just gonna grab my tool and make sure that green stuff lets go of where it needs to bend. Yep. I know one of these are a bit bit thicker than the other one, um, but for now I'm gonna let it dry like this and we'll see how it works. Remember this 
how much you are. No one's gonna see it. You don't have to, to spend a long time making it very pretty. The thought of having like the perfect looking armature is quite nice, but stop motion is such a long process. If you want to make sets and everything and you're doing everything by yourself, then it, it is quite a project. Therefore, save some time where you can. It's now been more than 24 hours and the milliput and green stuff should be hard. So now we can remove the alligator clip and the plastic. And now we have hopefully the perfect fitting hole for this guy to just keep the puppet standing. Great. I'm just gonna show you the last armature I made. Uh, he had steel wire in the toes and um, I did that so he could stand up on his own but I wouldn't recommend steel wire for stop motion. They managed to do the job because I didn't have to animate his toes a lot. If I had to bend these back and forth after just a few bends they would break. Um, so don't use steel wire. I didn't even add toes to this one because the rig is gonna keep him standing and he's also gonna have clay toes. Once everything is dry it's much easier to add another layer and make everything look more smooth if you really want to. But again, this is a skeleton. It's gonna be inside your puppet. So maybe you don't want to spend too much time on that. I would definitely recommend that you don't. I hope you get the idea. I'm always a bit insecure whether the information and the results are good enough and whether this is actually what you wanted. Oh, I mentioned this in the other uh, video the character design video, but if you make a bigger armature then Twist the wire Like this So you have uh, a thicker Wire in the end. This is a really good way to make the puppet stronger. Remember plasticine is very heavy. So if you're working in a larger scale and you you're not using silicon puppets. Even if you're using silicon puppets, this is probably a good way to to go if you're in a larger scale, no, ma no matter what. Unless you want to go with an actual ball and socket joint armature. So that's the very basic of armatures. I mean, at least this is the way I'm doing it. There are other tutorials on YouTube if you want to check some different uh, wire armature tutorials out. I would recommend Edu Puertas. It's just a wonderful channel to follow in my opinion. And I'm not sure if Edu Puertas is the correct pronunciation but he has made some pretty good uh, armature videos and he also did a video where he did some tests bending different types of wire to see how many times can you actually bend them before they break and it's so check that out. This is my way of doing it and it has worked great for me and my chicken. That is the armature. Before ending this video, I just want to talk to you a little bit about if you don't have a rig, what you can do. You can use aluminum wire just like I did here to make your own rig. Rigs can be quite expensive. so. You just um, take multiple wires, as much as it will take to hold up your puppets, you twist them and then you do the same thing with the green stuff where you want. I mean, in this case, for instance, you would have green stuff on this part, green stuff on this part, green stuff right here and green stuff here maybe. Some kind of uh, claw or something to hold your puppet. It would probably not work for the biggest puppets, but it's a way to to rig uh, smaller things. I have one scene in my uh, short where the chicken is throwing a piece of paper, and that piece of paper is rigged that way. I would rather use an actual rig 
and then an aluminum wire armature then i would use an aluminum wire rig and then a ball and socket joint armature yes feel free to ask me if you have any questions and then i'll be back adding the plasticine to the puppet that's it thank you so much for watching thanks for all your your kind comments by the way i'll see you in the next one and until then keep animation alive